There are mixed messages coming from the American leadership on the issue of fighting the terrorist group Islamic State. While the White House promises there will be no boots on the ground in Iraq, the Pentagon's refusing to rule out that option. Diana Chichikan has more. Well, Tabang, the Obama administration has laid out its strategy of how the U.S. is going to fight ISIS that will involve U.S. Air Force and uh, support for groups on the ground who will be fighting ISIS in Iraq and in Syria. That's the plan. But there are so many things that can go wrong with that plan. And the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff was pressed to answer what will happen if the strategy fails. What he answered seemed to contradict the president's promise. As your commander-in-chief, I will not commit you and the rest of our armed forces to fighting another ground war in Iraq. If there are threats to the United States, then I, of course, would go back to the president and make a recommendation that may include the use of U.S. military ground forces. Now, ISIS, on its part, is also preparing for, U for a U.S. Uh, offensive. They put out a Hollywood-style, another, I should say, Hollywood-style propaganda video, this one showing how they're going to fight the Americans. Like many Hollywood trailers, it ends with words, coming soon. And one thing that you can tell from this video is um, these, how these terrorists really enjoy the fact that America is paying so much attention to them. They, they see themselves as, as being on one level with America, and it seems that's exactly what they want. It gives them the sense of power that they're craving.